whippets do you do a week, Russell? No. You left 99 cans of whippets in my old house. So, did you ever, you probably don't even know who these actors are. No, you know who Robert De Niro is? Nope. I asked her, I asked her today, I asked her today, do you know who Robin Williams was? She said, At that time, marijuana was still kind of hush hush and quiet in Alabama. I had never smoked marijuana in my life. I was 18 years old. I walked into his kung fu class and made some friends and I smoked my first joint. Ask me whatever, because if I could make him vanish like that, and I, he left here for eight months because I yeah. have him arrested. Yeah. And it was a great eight months. Okay, no, so even you though. It was now? wonderful. Here's my question. I love you, Anyone with a number card can call and talk to So I'm here in Alabama. We got a. <clears throat> Chastity over here. Let me comb my hair and I'll talk to you. I'm not going to look like this. <laughs> and we got, yeah, like we got Russell right here. Russell. What you doing? Russell, you're a Kung Fu champion? I'm, no. I'm a Sifu of Kung Fu. You're what? Sifu, what? I'm a Sifu of Kung Fu. Sifu of Kung Fu. Okay. And uh, you're how old? No. How old? How old? 40? Plus 14? <laughs> okay. Where, where are you currently living? In purgatory. Purgatory? Yes, What's your day-to-day -day activities look like? I'm good to doubt. I'm going to follow the way. I'm shining a lot of heaven everywhere. I go as best I can. Do you believe in God? Always. God is almighty? Amen. Oh. Hey, everybody. Oh, you want me to put this on here? Sure. Russell, when, he, when I was 18, Russell's a couple years older than I, and I walked into his Kung Fu class. Mm -hmm. And in that Kung Fu class, I made two or three other friends that happened to be friends with Sifu Bradley. And Russell was uh, a very majestic, long, beautiful Goldilocks hair. Majestic. Where'd your, where'd your Goldilocks hair go, Russell? She made it fall out? Well, anyway, so... <coughs> Um, at that time, marijuana was still kind of hush hush and quiet in Alabama. I had never smoked marijuana in my life. I was 18 years old. I walked into his kung fu class and made some friends, and I smoked my first joint with Russell no. and his three cohorts, and we all took kung fu together, and we all smoked marijuana. And then, you know, everybody started tripping on acid, and then Russell got his door kicked in, and Russell was, you know, chronically... What did you get your door kicked in for? Marijuana. I saw a quarter pound of pot in the cover cup. Quarter pound. Is it still legal out here? <laughs> it is not legal in Alabama, and uh, you can be arrested for a roach in your ashtray. Even these days? And there got the t-shirt and the cup. Yes. <laughs> so if a person does meth out here, then what happens then? Meth is something that the judges will automatically put a heavy sentence on. There's no real second chances. They will send you to a mandatory court-ordered rehab. But once you start getting second and third arrest, you're just not going to go to jail for 30 days. You will get five years. And if you're caught distributing meth, it's an automatic 10 years. Russ, did you ever mess around with meth? I partied like a rock star. You partied like a rock star? Is that a yes? Use <coughs> your imagination. I mean, my friends include like Fred Lab and Chastity Ball. So wait, See, here's wait, the thing. Use your imagination. Oh, of course I use my imagination. But here's the thing. Back in our day, like 20 some odd years ago, in California, meth was big. But in back east, back here, Florida, things like that, like, from my understanding, there wasn't a lot of meth. There wasn't, right? Meth only came in 1999 and 2000, mm -hmm. and 
We Because I remember I came out here to North Carolina and I asked people if they ever tried meth because I was doing meth and brought some with me. They're like, we don't know what that is. And when I gave them some, they're like, what the hell is this? Nobody <laughs> knew what meth was. I and I didn't see meth get the boom mm. until about 2014. Okay. So roughly only 10 years ago did meth become prominent in this area. And what's unique about meth... And what was it? Was it like, were people sniffing it, smoking it, shooting it, what? Well, everyone was snorting it, and then everybody claimed about having burnt noses. Crank then, bitch. I owned a smoke shop. You guys ever hear a crank? Did you ever hear a crank back in the day? I only have heard a in crank. In the 90s. Because my... Crank was like that amphetamine meth... That, I mean, it, it got its name from being oh. in the crankshaft of a, of a, of a motorcycle. That's I was uh, married to someone in the motorcycle lifestyle, and I married someone 30 years my senior. So mm -hmm. he went through those 60s, so he called it crank, mm -hmm. but nobody else around here ever did. Yeah, but I did not understand that people even smoked meth. I only seen and heard about people snorting it, but I owned a head Good shop. And... Then all of a sudden, I saw the. We straightened and snorted it. S uh, snorted it? Well, we. That was just, the stuff. Just, that, just, that's how we straightened it. You know? It felt like somebody stuck a pencil up your nostril, right? I don't know. I can't speak for the, the GLBT people. She can. But other than, we straight people just snorted along here and there. So. Here and there? Yeah. Well, I've never done that. Here and there for 20, yeah. 20 years? Or yeah, what? I'm just theoretically speaking. I'm, uh, straight people, for instance. But no, I think I Russell just is too cheap and doesn't have the money to have a bowl, and he's too irresponsible because he can't keep a cell phone or a charger. He no, he takes all my money. He thinks you can't it. keep a, ro a rollable. But in the in the smoke so shop, Chazzy takes her money. in the smoke shop in two thousand and two, all of a sudden I got catalogs with the rollables, and I didn't even know what they were because I didn't do math. Mm -hmm. And so someone told me you have to order these. And they were 50 cents, and I would sell them for $10. And then after 10 o'clock at night, I would sell three for 20. And I was the only city in the tri-state area that sold them. And I would have people drive from Georgia. It would be nothing for them to come over and buy a case of pipes. Yeah. And so, you know, I probably bought a house selling rollable pipes. And I uh, never would have dreamed. You were, a, you were a, a businesswoman. I was a businesswoman. I never sold drugs. I sold everything to use mm. them. Now, as far as you go, growing up here, I mean, you left for a while. You went to Florida, but then you came back. Yeah, I'm from Florida. I came here. Oh, you're from college. Florida, so you came back college. here. Do you think, um, right now, how long have you been living on your own or living the way that you live? How do you live? Well, we're in the Holy Man, Servant of God. My whole life, more or less. I'm not like pure like Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, or holy like that. But well, he was kicked out of my Lord. church. He was kicked out of your church? I mean, Russell has been kicked out of my church for speaking inappropriately. No, I said no. Yeah. Yeah, I told her she should uh, go to a real church. My pastor asked me who he was and that he had been reported he had spoken uh, inappropriately to a young girl and scared her real bad. So yeah, I told her that to her, a redneck preacher was talking blasphemy when he said that dogs don't have souls. He was talking some stupid you shit. You weren't there when that happened? Yes, I was. You were not I there I told him to his face that he was wrong. The, the, and he didn't like that. I told him to his face that he was wrong in front of his congregants. And that's this, what is, I'm this is all fabulous. Dogs are pure love from God. Dogs are four-footed pounds of God. Pure love. That's his defense. All right, back up, Chastain. No, I want to ask you a question. Have you ever had a substance abuse problem? No. No? What? Tell us your arrest record on drugs, Russell. Oh, I got arrested for marijuana. You got arrested for a grow room in Florida, right? I took the rap for a grow room. You room. had a grow room with your boyfriend, Brian. Yeah, it was your boyfriend. And because it was your boyfriend, you took the rap. No, because 
I get the rat. Okay, from, besides from, then, from, for your boy, I get, I get the rat for your boyfriend to protect his dogs. Like I endure your abuse. Like I, I don't know, Gabe Brian. Okay, but, but able okay, to so, so fast forward. Oh, he was at your head shop when you gave him that. You want me to tell him? So, so fast forward. Right? So I'm going to kick him. you in your fucking jaw because you're fucking lying, and this I is why he's going to get hurt. You see why? You see the okay on a daily basis. Question for you. She actually can keep people in the house. Let me ask you this Hey, hey how me. many whippets do you do a week, Russell? No. You left 99 cans of whippets she in my old whippets. house, left the burners on to set the house on fire. Because I Russell will do any drug he can get his She's hands lying. On. She left me in a house that was 20 degrees below zero, for the love do of you, God. Do you think? I had to, she wouldn't turn the heater on. She was freezing me to death because she was too cheap to, to run the AC. Me and the dogs were freezing to death. Me and the dogs, me and the dogs were freezing to death. I had to turn the, the, the stove on just to have the burner running. It was just so we didn't, me and the dogs didn't freeze to death because she's too cheap. To so, wait, when on. you say the dogs, so the dogs wouldn't freeze to death, yeah. are you are you staying in her garage? I was, the dogs and I were staying in one of the. How did you end up, how did you end up living in the garage? Why? Because Chastity got all demonic and stuff. I mean, she, I won't put out so she can kick off the garage. You're saying chastity? Yeah, you, yeah. Why do you stay at my house? Why do you not have one place in this world you can go to? You have God burnt every bridge you have. You say God brought you here? Yeah. Well, God brings us everywhere. Amen. Well, since he, God brought me through that door. Okay, but even if God brought you here, what is your what does your future look like? Pray. Huh? Heaven. Besides praying, do you do you want to keep living out of the garage? Oh no! Sooner or later, I'll be sooner or later I'll be living happily ever after with Mrs. Wright. But in the meantime, I'll just be serving God. You're gay, Russ. No, but I'm just wondering. <laughs> even if you, even if you, so say, Mr. Okay, Wright. if you live happily ever after, does that mean eventually you want to get your own place? Yes, but God will work that out. If the God were, if God ain't gonna come down, I mean, Russ, God, God ain't gonna come thousand. down and do it for you. Yeah, you got to be in action. So my question is this: Listen, I'm not trying to interrogate you. I'm just wondering because. In a sense, you're homeless because you're without a home, correct? No. You have a home? I don't own a house. No, but you're at somebody else's home living in the garage. Uh, oh, no, he's an intruder. He's not in where do you Where do you shower? Here. No, you don't shower here. You've been allowed to use my shower two times because you stunk so bad, and I truly wanted him to get this job at Red Lobster, she so just, I actually let him shower. She just wanted me in the shower cans. So do you think, are you, is there a job, is there a job on the horizon? Do you want to work? My job is turning humans into superhumans to work for Almighty God. I think it depends on this little girl like her and turn her into a badass. It's file. not true. When three men tried to kidnap her in Peru, she did exactly what I taught her how to do. She, they barely survived. They did not kidnap her. They barely escaped her with their lives. I thought her, so the bad guys did like so that. So in a sense, you're her protector. So right. you think she no, wouldn't even be alive? I've drop me. kicked him. I can drop kick him right now. He called the police. Who taught I her that? With a water bottle the other day. She would beat me with her dildo. But I'm not saying I'm not cute, Mom. She's got her issues, but she is. That's how I know it's Satan. She is. His mind is so perverted. She, she, he needs a look at, the, look at the tattoos on her body. Let's just see. I'm gonna let's, hit him. Let's, I'm let's really gonna hit him. Look at the tattoo on your. Back. Let's just show the Wait, you mean, let's talk happened. about you being homeless. Let's you chased the 19 year old girls. You getting kicked out of church. We you were not talking you. about 19 year old Chastity when you were. How many girlfriends did you have then? Would you like to remember Zero. 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 Name them. Name them, Name them. Name them right. Russell, because you're a liar. Actually, no, I'm just. Listen, R Russell. Actually, the the reason I'm asking the questions is how long is this going to go on for? This is person on the planet. This lifestyle. Hell means hard. Uh, so no, here's here's my question. My question is, through, my question is, like, you basically. Did you kung fu right now? I, I, right, I took kung fu when I was younger too. But my my question is, like, on a daily basis. That's why I asked, what's your day to day look like? You come out of the garage. You take the two dogs for a walk, or, or you take them to. But what else? Like, is there any future on the horizon? Follow me for a day or two. Yeah. What's that? Follow me for a day or two. I encourage you. I would Spy love to. Me. I would love to. Watch but no, but even if I followed you, well, he, what would I see if I followed you? You'll see. You want me to tell you? Sure. Okay. He takes dogs for a walk. He goes down here to Justin's house, and they run him off. 
Okay. Then I see him in Popeyes, and then at the end of the night, if he doesn't come here and hustle me for food, he goes to the restaurants and he says, I'm hungry, and he puts on this little act, because they don't know he gets a $1,000 check that he blows on dope. What's and the thousand? I don't, is Popeyes it, will give him the leftover is, chicken. Is the thousand dollar check a disability check? You have hit my friend. Chastity did a Satan wish spell on me when she's doing witchcraft when she's 17 and had me hit by a freight train with me and my holy Bible, so I wrecked her witchcraft at work. You know, to be hit by a train, you got to be real stupid. The way those whistles go and the way those arms come around, you got to be the dumbest they person they on the planet. Arms at that intersection. Question for you. Do you currently use any substances? Only when Chastity shares with you, isn't very often. It's a lie. Like, what do you use? You. Whatever Chastity shares. I mean, I don't know. I'm about to piss this right now. Look, there's a, I'm tired of her. Excuse me. She's just called projection. No money and Let's the guy go. that he scores meth down the street, I got his phone and I opened it up. You're not a guy anymore. And he says, break me off, break me off. Oh, they're referring to the dollars. Well, Russell has no money. <coughs> said, so he has no off. drugs. I said, break me off a piece of that cake that you get. Um, she he did she did give you some. I know. It's He's lying. Hand. These are messages to Justin down the street who shares drugs. That's with her ex boyfriend. He was seventeen years old when he went to a bar and she said this to be cried. He either. cried when he told me about you. He saw you goodbye. I have no, no but back, back to what my question is. I don't want uh, listen. I'm not against you. I don't even know you. Oh, well. I am. But I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you. But I'm going to tell you. She got me hit by a on me. There was a time in my life. Where my life brought me to a place where I was living without a home. I was living on the streets. I was living in a car. And so sometimes, during those times, the thought would cross my mind. I was in my 30s. Like, what am, what am I doing with my life? Like, what am I supposed to do here? And I was kind of stuck because I didn't know. So I'm just wondering, like, in your day-to-day, -day, are you just comfortable living the way that you are? Or do you no, have... He is loves there, it. Is there a plan? He loves it. He God's loves it. God's plan is one to follow. I don't really take the place out for me every day. I wake up and I try to do everything I can do every moment to eliminate suffering. Eliminate and to suffering? And to propagate peace and joy. Okay, when you say eliminate suffering, does that mean that sometimes you do feel like you're suffering? Everyone is suffering somehow, something. Okay. So you ask God. Do you, like, do you love not having a shower and a toilet? You love it. You just, you crap in the street. You just like, is like inflicting suffering on people. Okay, I don't have anything for rent. There's nothing for rent. I am a I resident. Living, I, I don't rent okay. places. I so, so I want to ask you this question. Do you mind living, if I ask in front of me? Ask me. Oh. Ask me whatever. I because if I could make you vanish like that. and I, He left here for eight months because yeah. I have him arrested. Yeah. And it was a great eight months. Okay, no, so even you, though. It was now? wonderful. Here's my question. Okay, here's my question. No, 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 no. Motherfucker, don't you ever say I got No, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't. Here's my question for you. I want to ask you. I want to ask you. He's got to get off my property. He's such a liar. She was perfect when I was here. You're a liar and you're smoking meth with her on the way to Pensacola and meth out of her vape. You're full of shit. You gave her drugs and then you admitted to me. You told her that if... The money you gave her, she bought drugs she had to share with you. You are a degenerate, predator, piece of I shit. Never, I've never provided her a drop of tobacco. I've never provided her a... He's a liar who throws okay. vapes in her face the, all the time. The, I, I, I hate this motherfucker. Here's my question. I hate I've it. never provided you... How did he end up... How, you tell drug. me. How did he end up living in your garage? He showed up when it was 20 degree weather. She told and I knew him when I was 18 years old. Okay. And there's a part of me that's a real Christian. And I'm not going to put any human outside in the cold. Okay, so you, I, felt, you felt for him. He now. has played on my kindness. And I literally, kindness. I literally, literally, literally wish he would vanish. And I would never see or hear from him again. And I mean that. I now, mean, now, a question. And I mean that. A question. Although now he lives on your property. He doesn't. He squats on my property. Okay. But, 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 even. The, here's my question. Well, the as much as he happen. irritates you because of the things he says. Because he, th he says things that are. Uh, he lies. No, no, no. He no, lies, no. and I'm going to eventually get a baseball no, no, bat. I don't want you to take that. every two. No, 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 no. The next time uh, no, no, he no, no, says listen. that lie about my daughter, he's Get, going to get no, 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 no,
Chastity. I've never lied. My question is this. It's, it's, he's going to lose his teeth. It's, it's interesting to me. Well, he might not even have any as it is. But he don't because he's a meth head. Okay. Tooth loss, drug my, my addict. My question is this. As checkered, in, his criminal record is as so As annoying checkered. as it is that the man... Makes advances towards your. Nonsense. I've never made an advance towards her, and she said. I said you didn't my understand. daughter doesn't towards, even towards your your nineteen year old daughter. Mm -hmm. He says things uh -huh. that she oh, says are all way further. Listen. Yeah, because well, he's my a, question is this, quote me and he continues me. to squat in your garage. Why do you feed him? Just uh, tell me why yeah, why that is. Because as a Christian, and if somebody's hungry and I don't give them food. I can't imagine the wrath God would put on me. That's just, that is what I'm supposed to do. Does he also help you out? You know what? Russell takes care of two dogs that my daughter abandoned. And I love all the animals. And the silver lining is that the dogs are happy. If he could see past being a lazy, succubus degenerate, Take his thousand dollar check and go to get government housing mm. and get his own place. I will give him all the dogs because he will take care of them. The only th thing that I can say about Russell is he actually cares more about the animals than he does himself. He would give those animals his last bite of food. Do you hear that, Russell? The dumb and dumb. What's that? The dumb and dumb. That's the I, go, I take the dogs to restaurants. I do go to restaurants every day and ask them for food. I give it to the dogs. I'm he does. Dog. He will take the best care of those dogs and anyone I know. Does a part of you like Russell? I mean, you've known him a long time. Yes, there's a part of me that knows Russell has a good heart. You I think you have a good heart, Russell? Pure. Pure? Russell's got a very good heart. He's not a mean person. So then what, this whole outburst a second ago of you going after Because him. he is a predator on my 19-year-old daughter and he is a tribute to her drug use. And that I'm is not. enough for me to Let's never care to see him again because I my child's... I've never given her a molecule of income drug. I've never given Have you ever done drugs with her? When I got to this house, every one year was on drugs. There's over drugs here. Walked into a drug party. They dosed me on that. That, that doesn't answer my question. Have then you, you ever done? You need to leave the property. Have you ever done drugs? With I mean, you need to leave the property. I've done drugs. With chess. No, that's not what I asked you. Yeah. Have you done drugs with her, the youngster? Have to, you have. Testify against my spouse. No, but you want to <laughs> sit here and dog me out. No, 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 no. <laughs> Don't, don't, don't. I think special privilege on that question. He's got to go. I think special privilege. He's got to go. I love you, love. And fucking. I love you talk about motherfucking weed. I have it around me. And I got my kid on meth and he's stalking my daughter. I can't take it. I can't take it. No. He has. Turn that camera off. He has smoked some. Half hour later, he's out here. Hosing stuff down in the rain. Chastity is phenomenal about awesome chef. Human air gift is exquisite beyond words. I'm very well educated. You are educated? I've vocabulary and I'm a lost horse and just about how exquisite everything she makes it is. We what were you hosing down in the rain? I washed all the dishes. I've cleaned this whole entire house. It's a huge house. The restaurants would fit inside just the upstairs. You're downstairs. washing the dishes out here? Yeah, she can keep the hard upon. Or, I don't know what her issues are. Maybe she thinks they're undercover agents. I don't know. But for whatever reason, farmers never found them, so I have to wash the dishes outside. All the dishes you've ever eaten, I don't have to drink out of here. I wash. You wash them outside? All the food she makes. Good food? Yes, yeah, an understatement. I've done to some of the best restaurants in America. Do you think you're a good man, you? Jesus said there's none good but God. That's right. Not right now. Just throw all the stuff back in there, please. You already got the thing out that you needed to get out, right? Uh, it was, well, I didn't need it. You were
Did... Downtown Mobile, Alabama. We got a lot of action. A lot of nice spots. They just had Mardi Gras here. And apparently Mardi Gras originated here. In Mobile, Alabama. Hey, this page, I'm out here in Mobile, Alabama. This is Mobile, Alabama? Mobile, Alabama. And why do yeah. they, they call it Mobile? Is there a lot of Mobiles that drive through? That's just the name of the city. That's the name of the city. Yeah. yeah. I'm with my friend Ivy. What's up? Oh, Ivy. Alabama. Ivy and I, we uh, made some videos before. Um, Ivy has some people that she knows right here. Uh, we're at a Starbucks off of what street? Airport. Yeah. Airport. Yeah. Airport. Right Airport Boulevard. Airport Boulevard. The busiest highway in the city. Okay. What's your name? Mitchell Eisen. And your name? James Stewart. James what? Stewart. James Stewart. Now, James, you are an ex... LAPD. Ex LAPD. Yeah. You used to live out in LA. Which part of LA? Uh, North Central. Don't talk to him. He's on drugs. <laughs> really? <laughs> He's on um, drugs? How do you know? I don't know. I'm just insinuating you know? because uh -huh. I didn't know. <laughs> Uh-huh, there's something you know. Do you know where Beverly Hills is? Absolutely. You know where the bank, the, the bank up there is? Bank up? Uh, American Bank? Top. American Bank, yes. <laughs> Out of I was involved in a shooting. The shooting? Bank property. You weren't the shooter, though. You were the cop that went, <laughs> that went after people, right? Well, okay. uh... Cops, 15, well, cops uh, bank robbers roll into a bank. Mm -hmm. With AK-47. Robert De Niro was not there. Robert De Niro was not where? At in the bank? bank robbery. Robert De Niro was never even in a bank robbery movie, was he? Yes, yes he was. Which the movies? Heat. The uh, Heat. The Heat. Yes. Yes. And uh, name the other famous actor that was in The Heat. Well, you tell me. Val Kilmer. There yeah. you go. M-16. But what uh, was, there was another bank robbery movie with Al Pacino. You remember what movie that was? Uh, uh no. Uh, the, the, uh, Dog, Day, Dog Day Afternoon. Yeah. Yeah. Remember that? I remember that one. Remember that? That was a good movie. So, so did you, ever, you probably don't even know who these actors are. No, I don't no. know. You know who Robert De Niro is? Nope. I asked her, I asked Wait her today, I asked her today, do you know who Robin Williams was? She said she didn't know. No. Oh, Robin Williams. I'm have you ever seen the You've TV? Never watched True never seen, no. <laughs> have you ever seen, seen the movie, uh, the TV show called Mork from Mork? Mork no. and Mindy. Yep. Ain't even heard of it. Mork from Mork. Exactly. So let me get this straight. You, when were you a cop out there in LA? Uh, 83. 83. For how long were you a cop? 22 years. You're a police officer in Los Angeles for 22 He's years. He's probably still a police officer. <laughs> nope. Okay. Retired. You retired. Retarded. Retired. <laughs> okay. So did they ever take care of you, like after after you no, left the police force? No. They don't take care of you. Well, I have I have four hundred one k. Okay. I haven't pulled on it yet. Okay. And were you originally from Alabama? No. Where are you from originally? From Anchorage, Alaska. Alaska. Anchorage, Alaska. Six months. You're from Anchorage, darkness. Alaska. Uh huh. <laughs> but your accent don't speak Anchorage. Your, your I have a northern accent. You do? Yes. Okay. So, I'm born in Idaho Falls, Idaho. Idaho, okay, yeah. I, l I grew up in Utah for a while. I say you okay. need to eat some more taters. Oh, because it's of the spuds? Capital of the world. It's good for you. Because of the potatoes? It's not capital of the world. Okay, so then you, you moved to L.A. Did you like living in L.A.? It was okay. Did you like being a cop in L.A.? I was in a condo. You were in a condo? Yes, I lived in a condo. As a cop? Yes. Yeah. Well, you don't believe him? That's a loaded question. <laughs> <laughs> loaded as in he's loaded? Yeah, he's a retired Chippendale or something. Okay, so what? <laughs> right now you're homeless. Yeah. What brought you to homelessness? What happened? I'm injured. Huh? I'm injured. Injured? 
My shoulder is torn up. My okay. right shoulder is torn so up. So am I. <laughs> okay, so as of and right now, what what do you like to use, like as far as substances? We. What else? The forty-four. That's it. Uh, come on, James. That's it. Just we. <laughs> That's, That's the okay. uh, You don't like doing no math or nothing like that? Have you ever done it? Done it. Okay. Don't like it. Did you ever arrest people? Hey. Did you ever arrest people on it? More than once. More than once? Okay. And then, uh, have you ever been messed with by the cops? They don't want to do that. Here? They don't want to do that. They don't want to mess with you? No. Why not? Former police officer? So is that what you just tell them? Yeah. You're, you were a former cop? Like you're one of them? I was, uh, I'm a retired. And do they He's believe also you? also retarded. <laughs> no. Uh, yes, they believe me. They pull up my record. Okay. Oh, so they just run your name and they're like, oh, you know what? This guy is a cop or was a cop. Was well, a former cop. Okay. When they pull your ID, they run you, they run you through the system. Story. Right, right. Okay. To see What's if that? you want it. They run your story, your life history. Right, right, right. So, has he told you this cop story that he was a cop? Yes, I've heard of Actually, they made a movie of it called 44 Minutes of Terror. The movie was about you being the cop? No, about the bank robbery in Beverly Hills. Okay, well, and when did that bank robbery happen? In the 80s, obviously? And no officers killed?